Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the Transient Controller JS plugin in Reaper. Now, the idea of controlling our transients is the concept of separating our audio into attack and sustain and adjusting their volumes separately. I have a snare sample right here. This part is the transient or attack of the sound. Think of it as the first impact and how clicky it will sound. With this plugin, we can make the attack louder with more percussiveness or transients, or we can make it lower and it'll kind of fade in with a softer attack, making it less percussive. Then we have our sustain, which is the part right after the attack. This tends to give us the tone of the sound. And again, we could raise it up to bring out the sustain or bring it down to make the sound shorter or more staccato. So let's try it on some drums. I have a drum project right here with a kick, a snare, a pair of overheads, and a pair of room mics. Let's hear it. Let's start with the kick. Let's solo it. Let's go to the track effects on this track. Let's go to the filter and type in transient. Let's choose this plugin right here called Transient Controller. Double click it, and it looks like this with an attack, a sustain, and an output control. Let's hear the kick right now. So if we bring up the attack setting, it'll bring up the transient and make the kick sound clickier. Notice just moving it a little bit does a lot. Now let's try making the attack slower. Notice it kind of fades in the transients or the attack. Now let's adjust the sustain. Notice it affects the length of the note. Now let's make the attack as slow as possible and adjust the sustain. Now with no attack and a lot of sustain, we can mix it back in with the original by duplicating the track. Let's reset the first track. Let's add some more attack to this one. Then we can blend in the second one with a slow attack and a long release. By adjusting the output. It gives us a lot of control to have two different versions of our kick we can blend together. So let's hear it with the rest of the drums. Now let's try it with the snare. Let's add the transient controller to the snare track. Let's hear it now. Let's bring up the attack to hear more transients, like the snare is being hit harder.
Once again, a little goes a long way. Now let's try a slow attack. Notice how soft the transient sounds. Now let's adjust the sustain. It shortens the length of the snare. Or we can lengthen it and bring out the sustain. Now let's adjust the sustain with a very slow attack. And let's add a very bright EQ after it so it almost sounds like a bottom snare mic. And once again, let's duplicate this track so we can treat them differently. Let's remove the EQ from the first one and just add some more attack. Let's hear the other one again. And let's blend them with the output. Before and after. Let's hear it with all the drums. Let's close this. I don't usually put it on the overheads, but I really like it on the room mics. So let's go to the track effects and hit the transient controller there. And on the room mics, if we make the attack really slow, it tends to make the room sound bigger. And also, if you bring up the sustain. Let's hear it in bypass. And back on. Let's hear it with the full kit. Let's close the plugin. Let's hear what it sounded like before. And then after, with all these extra tracks and the transient controller effects. It just gives us so much more control to adjust the attack and the sustain of our drums or any tracks separately from each other. So that's pretty much it. That's the Transient Controller JS plugin in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
tango, boys. Let's go. Mom!